Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up, y'all? Got something for you. Another DD product. We have here something that will fit a lot of your needs and give you the performance that you're looking for. And that driver is the DD 1508. Yes, it's back for a limited time. Contact your DD uh, dealer. Or you can contact me and I'll be fine one. And you can get that 1508. And I'm going to tell you why, like what I said in the title. Some of you have truck applications. You want a, you want a serious output performer, but you do not want a CEO. And you just can't do it. You can't get there. The performance of a two and a half inch voice coil under the seat of like fence is a Ford F-150 without lifting the seat. For whatever reason, you don't want to lift the seat. How do you get that performance? I want that mm, that a two inch voice coil just can't deliver. Well, there is a way you can get a two inch voice coil to deliver that output. And that's you getting it supercharged. So here I ordered for myself, well for my son's vehicle, two DD-1508s. That have been, you see that nice baby that's in that chair right there. My box color. You see it? One of my uh, knives? Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. Thank you, baby. Boom. So, let's unbox it. And for those of you who are not familiar with the feet in the way, let's re familiarize with it. First of all, it's a hand built subwoofer. Y'all know I'm all about the product toys. So, here we have a hand built subwoofer. From DD, crew performance. All right, drop that down here. Take this out, and let's look up top. The cutout is seven and a quarter. It has a stamp basket. So some of you may say, "Oh, the stamp basket you only get." I mean, that basket is not original. No, it's not. The performance and how they got the the uh, top plate, the dual slug motor, the back plate with the voice core. On the pole keep the voice coil cooling through the pole piece and Vincent on the back of the pack plate. This there's nothing really say about the stamp bass. We all know this cooling on. I'm not gonna say, hey man, this is something. No, 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 no. You're not gonna you're not gonna lie like that. We got the direct leads. We got a yeah, I would say well it's DD surround. So that they, they press it themselves so it has a, a very long life, a long system life. Two inch voice coil. With DD Spider. Now DD has their own, their own spider that they make. The way they make, make their materials, it's a rubber encased in two pieces of fabric, coated with their poly resins to give it its long shelf life. So they can give you awesome performance, optimum performance for a very very long time. But what I'm interested in is this: when you say, well, how does it give you the performance of a two and a half inch voice coil, and it's only two inches? Understand what I'm saying? When you use this subwoofer with a supercharged option, with a supercharged option, and what a supercharged does is they put a piece of near them ring, a near them ring on the top of the pole pole piece, which increases the motor force of the of the subwoofer significantly. Let me give you an illustration. Let's set this here, and let's also get. Ah oh man, let me get some pieces of wood here because. Any subwoofer utilizing any pieces of no metal you add to the magnet, the stronger its, it's magnetic property is going to be. Okay, so supercharging. You want to let's show the. I'm gonna get some wood. I'm off the camera right here, fellas. But I want to get something for the book that I'm gonna bring over. I want do not want it to have any kind of. Too much conductivity is going to get anyway from just being on top of this magnetic surface. This might not be the optimal test. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, now. Motor force of the 15 weight supercharged. Okay. Y'all see that? I'm sure y'all can see that right there. Uh, 
and I get a little bit closer to it. So as you can see, the motor force of this eight enables it to hold this, yeah, straight up. That snatches out my hand. I could drop it and it's still gonna hold it straight up, okay? Now let's get this two and a half inch force coil, which has significantly more mass and suppose a bigger top plate, little magnet, bigger bot plate. It should do as well, have the same magnetic flux around the voice coil as a supercharged woofer does. And it has a two and a half inch force coil. So you have more windings and you can obviously see more magnetic structure. Okay. Uh, but we have neglected the force of okay. now. Huh? Hmm. As you can see, the magnetic flux around this larger two and a half inch voice coil is not enough to stand the paper clip up. I'm steady dropping it. And maybe you can't, maybe let's move it, let's move the camera up just a little higher. So you can see that this woofer here, the resilient sound gold eight, does not have, with all this larger top plate and more magnetic force, does not have sufficient magnetic flux to hold this paper clip up. We said, well, that's why if you put it on the table, it could. Uh, possibly because that's not fair. So now we're going to add the supercharge. Two inch voice core with the knee and them ring. Same thing, just going to drop it. Just going to drop it. Just going to drop it. What's holding the paper killer up? The knee and them ring with the motor flows in the top plate, focusing the, in all the energy into the tight gap that DD uses. So this woofer here has significantly more motor force, more energy within this ma magnetic field than this woofer within this magnetic field. This is two and a half inch for a coil, this is two inches. This woofer you would not be able to get up on the CDF-150 without a seat lift, just when you will. You do pay significantly more for this two-inch force coil, but you within its within its power ratings, three to six hundred watts, it is the equivalent of this larger wolf within its power ratings. Within three to six hundred watts, because of its supercharged effect, it has greater motor force, which not means it has more power, but it has more output. The capability within its power rating, three to six hundred three to six hundred watts, to equal the performance of this two and a half inch voice coil within three to 600 watts. Say that again. Because of the supercharged effect of the DD-1508, because of it increasing this motor force, it has the same motor force as this larger subwoofer with more, with a bigger top plate, bigger magnets argument, more girth. From three to 600 watts, it is the equivalent of this 2.5, two and a half inch voice coil. But this one, you can fit up under a seat. Fatten that fish and get at me, man. Y'all contact your local dealer. It's a limited run. They run these 1508s back again. Just to see, you know, if maybe they should bring them all the way back. I'm telling you, you're going to get that supercharged option. You can put this direct foot under your seat. I got a box that fits under the seats of F-150s for DD 1508s. My son's going to get these two supercharged on 1200 watts without a seat lift. Peace, get at me, 404-694-4818, baby. Force, <laughs> motor force, no motor force. Can I just stand it up? I take my time, will it stand up? No, it won't stand up, but no problem here. <laughs> Peace.